Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to do some, I don't know if it's dismal Disney news. I guess it's dismal news for Disney that uh, Universal is getting its own special district now. Yeah, just like the one they took away from Disney. Well, they took over from Disney. They're giving Universal one now too. And it uh -huh. is going to have theme park employees on the board. Uh-huh. So this is not going to go well. No, because Disney has had special perks for years. I mean, regardless of how you feel about the situation in Florida with Ron DeSantis and all of that, um, Disney has had a lot more uh, leeway, a lot more power in Florida than its rivals. And it seems like the playing field is going to be leveled a little bit. Yeah, well, yes and no. I mean, it, it's going to cause a lot of problems. So here's what's going on. But before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants, guys. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo. Uh, this is coming from Mr. Milo on Pirates and Princesses. Dot net. Uh, that is Geeky's uh, objective theme park blog. And uh, I am not following this. I didn't even know anything about it. So she's going to have to walk me through this. Yeah, I saw it yesterday. So basically what happened was the Orange County Board of County Commissioners, or so Orange County, Florida, have agreed to let this happen. And what it's going to basically be is like Disney had with their Reedy Creek Improvement District and now their Central Florida Tourism Oversight District, there will be a special district at Universal, and it mostly encompasses the 719 acres where Epic Universe is going to be. It also, though, includes the 13 acres of the new Sun Rail train station is coming through the airport for the convention center. So it's going to be into that that area too. So it's not just Universal; it encompasses the convention center, this new railway that's coming in between the airport and the convention center and Epic Universe. So you'd be like, okay, well, it's not just universal. It's that whole dish, that whole corridor because they're right by each other. Except the district seats are going to be held by universal employees. Mm -hmm. Which I said in here, and it is. It's a bit hypocritical. It is. Uh, this sounds, this this feels like a bit bit of revenge. It is. And the thing is because the, the Central Florida Tourism Oversight Board that DeSantis put in place, he appointed those people. And the rules stated you couldn't be you know, working at a theme park within so many years of being on the board because they didn't want it to appear as if they were special favors because before everybody kind of knew it was like, you know, an open secret that Disney pretty much ran Reedy Creek and got yeah. whatever they wanted. Well, now Universal's could be argued that they're going to be doing the same thing. Yeah, I think um, the, the democratic way to do it, and I'm not sure how this is set up, but the democratic way to do it would be that you give equal number of board seats to, or one board seat for each theme park in that area you know, or whatever. Um, well, this one's including like the convention center. Right, right. So you'd have someone from the convention center, someone from the sun rail, yeah, like so different things, you know, the airport, say. that kind of stuff. But it's, it's going to be made up of, of different uh, people that are employees of Universal. <laughs> um, so they're going to call it the Shingle Creek Transit and Utility uh, Community Development District. Disney gets the shingles. So it's Shingle Creek. Instead of Shit Creek, it's Shingle Creek. <laughs> so the C, Creek. the S C T U C D D. Okay, that I would, I would think about. So it's not Reedy Creek. It's Shingle Creek. I it's would, Shingle Creek. Yes. I, I mean, that's even more of an insult. You can't have Reedy Creek, but we got Shingle Creek. Yes. Yes. Um, I think there's an area there that's like something sh Shingle something Creek area. There's actually an area there that's named that around. It has another name in front of it, but I don't know off the top of my head. But there's an area that's. I think that's where this is at. So it. it what's going to happen though? is Disney's going to probably take this and they're going to use it to argue in their favor for legal action because it wasn't the Santas who did this. Like, again, it was this, you know, it was the Orange County Board of County Commissioners who did it. It wasn't the Santas. But they're going to use it to argue unfair treatment that they are being punished and it just further proves that they were being discriminated against, violating their freedom of speech as a, as a corporation and all that. Um, that's what they're going to take this with. And they're going to, they're going to run with that. Yeah. Um, I did. <laughs> this is going to get really interesting. This is going to get really, really interesting. I mean, this is just like, I, I mean, people said before that universal had special districts set up. I don't think they did. Did they? Uh, not to my knowledge, they, but they might've, I, I mean, they, they got rid of a lot of special districts or the state took them over. And then this, they were disappointing people to the board, like they did at Disney. Then I think people would be like, okay, well, it makes sense because it's a large area that encompasses more than just Universal. Right. Where right. Disney's just pretty much Disney. But 
they could do that. And then they're, they're, they're not though. They're letting people that are employees of the company be on the board, which is exactly what they accused Disney of doing, which was, they said was wrong. Mm. And they could have just, they could have still had the, the district, but they could have, like you said, you know, given a seat there from different places or had an election or appointed the seats and they didn't do that. So now it's going to put them in the crosshairs because Disney's going to, Disney's going to come after this a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm sure they will. They'll probably be like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know? Um, so this is just going to add another wrinkle to all the, the legal stuff going on. I don't even know where anything is with it. Like, I have not been following this situation. It just seemed to me like a, a giant pissing match between the state and, and Disney. Um, yeah, well, this isn't going to help because you basically just said Disney can't have a board that people from Disney Company are on. Yeah. And it can't be anybody who's worked in a theme park in the last, like, you know, so many years because they want to keep it there and then turn around and then do this and say, oh, yeah, it's it's just, it's employees of the, of the theme park. Except for them. Yeah, except for Universal. It's, I mean, look, Disney does a lot of things that make me mad, okay? But I'm not going to agree to it just because I'm like, I'm mad at Disney. The fair is fair in that this definitely doesn't qualify. I mean, if you're mad about Disney having a district that they themselves were governing and controlling and it was like everybody knew that Disney was running it themselves under the guise of a district, you can't, you know, be not okay with that, but then be okay with a new district, but it's all run by people who work at the company. I mean, you can't, yeah. you cannot, in all fairness, say one's okay and one's not, you know, you, they either both okay or they're both not okay. So, I mean, it seems like all the other, basically all of Disney's competitors seem to be like teaming up to go against Disney to try to take them down too. Cause they had that whole thing with the, um, weren't they going to do the train line or whatever that was like basically a monorail for all the other, everything that wasn't. I think that's what the, they're talking about the sun rail line right this, now. They yeah. have the, the, the train going, I think they have the one train going from Miami to Orlando and they were talking about having um that wasn't Sunrail, that was uh Bright Line. Bright line. Bright line. Yeah. Um and then Sunrail was gonna be the one that went from Orlando Airport to the convention center, which people remember Disney was trying to it was getting mad, they wanted to be on the, the line too. But it didn't they they wanted to loop around past Disney as well and then but that was gonna add like a whole bunch to it. And this is like a short like jaunt from one to the other, and it takes you to the convention center, which is at Universal. It's like right outside Universal. Yeah, and that's kinda like at Vegas is the same way with the, you know, the um, they have the monorails are actually Disney monorails, old Disney monorails in Vegas, but they have the, you know, the convention centers on the loop and it takes you like, a, you know, the districts and stuff. They smell like P2. Uh, actually they were cleaner than Disney's oh, that's and sad. that's Vegas. And people probably like puking in these things and yeah. But, um, yeah. So like, it does feel like, I don't know, whatever, whatever specialness Disney had is getting stripped away. No, but I'm, yeah, but I'm like, they're going to have a case to argue that they're being yeah, discriminated yeah, against. So. This is like so. setting that up. Unless that's what they're trying to do. Like, did they go along with this? Because, you know, the, this, this board, this new group making the board, because then they would give Disney some ammunition because they, their side with Disney. I don't know. I don't know. This whole but thing. But it's definitely giving them ammunition. I mean, and look, I, I think this is going to be dragged out for years, the whole DeSantis Disney thing. And um, I just think it's another kind of a blow uh, to them, though, because Universal is coming for them. I mean, the, the oh, mass, no question. like Epic Universe is about the only thing that most theme park fans are talking about. Disney's like, well, we're going to spend some money on some stuff eventually. We well, just... Universal's actually in more in Orlando itself. Like yeah, Disney's kind of yeah, outside it. Yeah. So um, I think they're getting away with things, too, because... They're tied into the convention center and tied into a lot of stuff in in the city in the city itself. So they're kind of in a different situation than Disney. But that I can see a district for that because it's encompassing several things, except that they're putting the members as people who are employees of Universal. Yeah, they, that, that's the thing that gets you. I mean, having the district makes sense. Putting all the employees on them. You said there couldn't be employees of, of theme parks at Disney. That's the issue. Yeah, so uh, we'll keep an eye on this. Is there anything else we, we any more information we have? Is I don't like think so. Basic. It's just basically what's going on, and people are like, "Crap, Disney's going to use it," you know, in their lawsuit. You know, yeah. damn well they're gonna. No, oh, yeah, they will. And it kind of actually lends credence to what you know to them. Oh, we're being discriminated against. That wasn't DeSantis, but they're going to leverage it, and they'll probably you know be successful to do it because okay. everybody gets special treatment. You're all special snowflakes. You Except Disney, not now because they aren't allowed to have Rainy Creek. Right. Anyway, uh, everybody's up shit creek at this point, right? We're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.